and a half, yeah. and it's already steaming outside. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> In that extreme, he can be dangerous, especially for our young children. Uh, one thing people might not realize is how quickly it gets hot in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Experts say in just two minutes, the temperatures inside a parked car can skyrocket. In this animation, the outside temperature is 80 degrees. In just 10 minutes, the temperature inside is 99 degrees. 10 minutes, and get this, it jumps to 114 degrees in half an hour and 123 degrees in an hour. Keep in mind, it's dangerous for children at 94 degrees. And so far this year, there have been at least nine heat stroke deaths in children and vehicles nationwide. And just yesterday, authorities say a little girl in Sarasota, Florida, died after she was left in a hot car for five hours. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander checked out the temperatures inside a vehicle today right here in the Fox 10 parking lot. With the sun beating down, it doesn't take long for the inside of a vehicle to heat up. You know, just based on an outside temperature of, say, 90 degrees, uh, temperature inside the car begins to rise quickly. Uh, it gets up to 120 degrees, 140 degrees within 10 minutes in most cases. Uh, and, of course, obviously prolonged, this can kill a child. We took a thermometer and put it in a parked truck in our parking lot. The temperature went up to 112 degrees in 10 minutes. Normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees. Our body temperature, uh, we get into a deadly territory when we're talking about 105 to 107 degrees, and that's when heat stroke starts coming on. Doctors say it's important to watch out for heat stroke symptoms in children. Dr. Jason Richardson is the director of the Evaluation Center at USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Some of the symptoms that become nauseous, but irritable, but most of them uh, are going to become unconscious fairly quickly. And Dr. Richardson says it's not always easy to tell when a child needs help. As a bystander, people may, may take that for them taking a nap, but it's something that, that bystanders need to be, be looking out for because um, people who have noticed these things have saved lives as well. Mobile Fire Rescue Department spokesperson Steve Huffman says fire officials respond almost every day to scenes where children are locked in cars. In most cases, he says, the air conditioning is running, but... If we get there and the child is in any type of distress, we will break a window out to get to the child. Reporting for Mobile, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Log on to our website, fox10tv.com, for some reminders about child safety in hot cars during this season.